We start by obtaining the points of intersections of the parabolas y square is equal to 4ax and x square is equal to 4ay. The equation of the first parabola can be written as x is equal to y square upon 4a. Plugging in this value of x in the equation of the second parabola, we get y square upon 4a whole square is equal to 4ay, which implies that y raised to the power 4 is equal to 4a raised to the power 3 times y. Moving all terms to the left hand side and taking y common, we get y times in brackets y cube minus 4a whole cube is equal to 0, which implies that y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 4a. In the first case, x is equal to y square upon 4a is equal to 0. And in the second case, x which is equal to y square upon 4a is equal to 4a whole square divided by 4a which is equal to 4a. Therefore, the two points of intersection of the two parabolas are 0, 0 let's denote it by a and 4a, 4a, let's denote it by b. Now we are given that both these points a and b lie on the line 2bx plus 3cy plus 4d is equal to 0. Plugging in the coordinates of a and b, in the equation of this line, for point A, we get 2B times 0 plus 3C times 0 plus 4D is equal to 0, which implies that D is equal to 0. And for point B, we get 2B times 4A plus 3C times 4A plus 4D is equal to 0. 4 cancels. The last term d is equal to 0 as obtained above and we therefore get a times in brackets 2b plus 3c is equal to 0. This implies that 2b plus 3c is equal to 0 because a is given to be not equal to 0. Therefore to summarize d is equal to 0 and 2b plus 3c is equal to 0. Therefore, the value of d square plus 2b plus 3c whole square is equal to 0, which is the required answer.